everybody. Hey. Welcome to the Strings Attached podcast. We're a mother-daughter team, and I'm Mallory. I'm Frida. And our podcast is mainly about knitting and yarn, but it's really about all strings. Yes, all strings. Yep, and all crafts, really. We do all kinds of stuff, so it's just a little bit of everything. Yeah. Um, I want to welcome all new viewers. We've got quite a few. It's pretty exciting. Um, we'll talk about that here in a little bit, but um, I want to welcome everyone that's new. If you um, haven't like went back and watched our old episodes and this is your first one, welcome. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, today we mainly have tons of acquisitions. <laughs> We've been ordering things and getting things, but um, we have a few little knitting. Oh, yeah. yeah We're working on stuff. We just don't have anything. Mainly whips. Yeah. Don't have any FOs really. Not that are like no. here. No. They've been given away. Yes, they have. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay. So, um, my only FO, I'm going to insert a picture of it here. Um, but I'm, I plan on getting it back and <laughs> having it to show on the podcast. Um, but I'll show it next time in person. But for now, I'll just put a picture. Um, I made a banner for my niece Macy's uh, bachelorette party. And it, it was kind of like Western cowboy, cowgirl themed. So, um... I, mom kind of helped me with it because I'm not like a huge sewer, but I, I, I did most of it. You did most of it, yeah. yeah. You just kind of gave me the ideas. Yeah, <laughs> instructions. So I bought like a canvas, like a light pink canvas. What is it, like duck claw? It's or, duck claw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, cut it into a like triangular shaped, I don't know. I don't know what they're called really, but a banner. It's a banner. Yeah, yeah a with a, it comes down to a point. And then I bought... Uh, lace garland and sewed that along that edging and then um, the little words on it says Macy's last hoedown before the showdown <laughs> and I did <laughs> that really on cute. with Cricut iron-on vinyl yeah and so that was really fun I did all kinds of different fonts and um, I put little pictures on there of cowboy boots and cactuses and was there a hat hat and a horse yeah it was so cute. Was. And then yeah, um, okay. I, we sewed a little loop at the top and put a wooden dowel rod through. And then I asked my husband to drill holes through the dowel rod and I tied a like a twine rope so it was like a hanging. It was adorable. Mm -hmm. It looked like something you'd buy at Hobby Lobby. Yeah, it's cute. It's if really it didn't cute. say Macy on it, it would look mm -hmm. like something you could buy at yeah. Hobby Lobby. It was so, so cute. Mm -hmm. So that was a sewing project that I actually did. And I'm not really usually a sewer, so <laughs> sewing slash cricket. But it was mainly cricket. Yeah. Yeah. But very cool, and I hope to have it next time to show it in person. Yeah. But, yeah. Anyway, that's my only F.O., even though I don't have it on, on my person. I don't have any. Well. I gave them away. Yeah, your F.O. was the scrapbook. Yeah. We've talked about it a couple times. She got it done. The graduation party was this past weekend, and it's been passed off. And she told me to take a picture of, so I could have my own little album, digital album. A virtual, or yeah, digital scrapbook. Did I do that? No. She didn't do it. <laughs> your phone probably doesn't have enough room for all those pictures anyway. <laughs> it may not She never have. has any room on her phone. It drives me nuts. I have, I have room on my phone. I just don't have room on my iPad. Oh, okay. Well, maybe it was the iPad. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so um, my sister has the scrapbook now because it was for her son. So we're going to see if she'll take a couple pictures of our pages that we like use the cricket on and stuff because they were really cool. Yeah. I just love, I love doing cricket stuff. Yeah. I love it. She does. It's so fun. So, I was glad because I was running behind. I needed help. Well, and you needed like lettering. I did. I needed she had lettering. like all these pages to make and she was getting to where she like, she'd have these sticker letters. And I was and running she, out. Yeah. I mean, you'd have like no E's. Yeah. So you'd have like every letter mm -hmm. except for the E. Yeah. It was just like, I was like, mom, you have a cricket. You can literally cut out. That's Anything what I need to do next time. Want. It's just cut out lettering, period, and before the next scrapbook and have them ready. I guess. Or you can just, do well, yeah, I guess you could do the alphabets, but mm -hmm. you could also just go cut out all of your, everything that you want to label, cut it out on the Cricut. Yeah. Yeah. I'll probably be willing this to This was the first scrapbook we ever had a Cricut for her to yeah. do, so it's like we're opened up to this entire world of like yeah. endless yeah. possibilities. And when other people look at that scrapbook, they have no idea. No. They have no idea that it took me 45 minutes to make the title of this scrapbook page. You know, like, <laughs> The no one clue. I gave it to, the, gra the graduate, okay? His little brother has a cricket. And I kept telling him, when we looked at the book, I said, this is cricket. Mm -hmm. You could do this. 
Mrs. Mm -hmm. Cricket, this is what you do here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I kept telling him that mm -hmm. because he doesn't really have anybody to help him up there. Yeah. I want to get my own Cricket. I want to set up my own craft station because sometimes I'm just at home and I'm like, man, I'm bored. Just... Yeah. Well, and we're just like, oh, I need to make that real quick. Or like, I have a birthday for somebody at work the next day. I'm and like, you oh. can't leave because you can't leave the babies. Yeah. So, I don't know. I want my own craft room, my own cricket and everything. It'd be nice. But, okay. So, that was um, the scrapbook <laughs> FO. And I wanted to mention this. So, we had a viewer that commented and said that when she, because we were trying to say like, well, you know, scrapbooking is not really streams related, but you know, whatever. But she said when she did scrapbooking, she called it her heart strings projects. Her, her heart strings swallowed her heart the all the little yeah, pictures. Yeah, because it was, it was involving yeah. her heart strings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. So that's how we're relating it to mm -hmm. strings. strings attached. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. So anyway, I just wanted to throw that in there. It was cute. Yeah. Okay, so that's all of our FOs, which I know we don't have anything physical to show, but, you know. Nothing new. It is what it is. Yeah. Give things away sometimes. <laughs> so now we're going to talk about, yeah. yeah, that's what we do it for, yeah. you know. Yeah, that's what we're we going to talk about whips and, um... We have our cow whips, but we'll talk about that when we do the cow. Sure. Okay, so because I have a whole discussion on our cow and everything, okay. so I figured we'd just do that then. So uh, I'll show my other two whips. The first one I have is my goose sweater I've been working on for a while by Heidi Kermayer. There's the picture of it. And I have it all sewn together. Oh, you've the got front. the neck, a bunch of the neck done. I haven't seen that. Uh, this is the front. So here it is. Look how pretty. So I've got all my pieces, my um, my right front, my right back, my right sleeve, yada, 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 on the left side, all sewn together. And I went ahead and sewed in all of my ends because there was about 200. <laughs> Pieced sweaters so equal 200 sewn ends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was really proud of this though. Um, so you do a three needle bind off in the middle. Looks so pretty. And it just turned out so nice. And if you know anything about three needle bind off, you know that can be tricky. So I was proud. I was nervous. Like when I got it all done and held it up, I was like, oh, please don't let there be a weird place. Please don't. Because I did not want to have to fix it. But it turned out like, I mean, it's not to brag, but it's beautiful. I'm really proud of that three needle bind off. And then you had to pick up stitches for the neck. And it's a really big, long neck that you like fold down. So I'm only like halfway done with the neck. Nice. And it, yeah, it kind of like. I haven't seen the neck. Yeah. So it's mm -hmm. going to fit. It's going to be a fold down neck sweater mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. And then it's not a real tight neck either. So I don't think it's going to choke me. And then after that, after I get the neck, then I got to pick up for the bottom band. And it's a three inch band on the bottom. So it'll be the same as the sleeve. The sleeve is a three inch band. Usually you only do a two, a two inch on the sweater. Yeah. So this is the three inch one. And um, I think it's going to be long enough. It's supposed to be like a tunic length. And it looks a little short right now, but I think after I put the band on and after I block it, I think it'll yeah, be a perfect it's tunic. Yeah, curled length. up. It's curled yes. up two inches on the end. Uh-huh. So I think it's going to really honestly be a perfect yeah, tunic length. So funny. this pattern, um, when I first, if you've been watching for a while, you know that I had to rip out an entire side yeah. because I did it to pattern and, you know, I don't make swatches. I don't check gauge. <laughs> it was going to be way too short and I'm so glad I did because I added 20 rows to my yeah. length. I added 20 rows. That's quite a few. It's four inches. Oh my. And, and I'm so glad I did because yeah. I needed that four inches. And I think it's going to be perfect now. So that is my other whip. And then I have one more. Oh, where's it at? Okay. So I already showed my first completed sock. So now I'm on my second sock for, um, I'm doing this for a cow or a mal, I guess. So this is my second one and I'm on the foot now. So I expect to have this done in two days. Yeah, probably. Socks don't take the hard part done. Yeah, socks don't take forever like I expected them to. I mean, I started this I on Friday. To Today it. is Tuesday. I, if I make a sock, I want to make it like uh, we watched the new podcast with the mother daughter, and she was sitting mm. there knitting a sock with uh, is it loop magic loop? Mm -hmm. or you put it all along, mm -hmm. and she just sitting there knitting, and she didn't have all those double points going. Yeah, you have fun with that because I don't think that's for me. Okay. Because then you've got, you You probably like it because you hate double point needles. Mm -hmm. I do not mind them at all. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to have this big annoying loop all the time. It just come out. Yeah, but then you constantly, the... I've watched people and you constally just... have to move it back and forth yeah. on the. I love you. I don't, 
I think I'll, I think I'd rather do that. I know you would, but you have them at that. It's not for me. I like the double but point. But I still may do a DK one first or something. I may not do tiny yarn. I'm telling you, it's not that bad. All right. I might try it. It's actually really fun. Okay. Because it's little. It probably will be. It's little. You can just never hold it. Never say never. Just, I don't know. I know. I never thought I'd do it. I know. But I love it. So anyway, that is my sock. And um, that is for a make-along, a spring stripes make-along with Carla Knits podcast. Hi, Carla. So she's running that until June 20th. So I have a, like five more days to complete that. So I'm not worried. I'll get it done. Yeah, thank you. So will. I'll have an FO for Carla Knits yeah. podcasts, Spring Stripes, Make Along. I'm excited about that. This is my first, I mean, I've done Make Alongs, but like, I don't know. This is my first one that I really feel like connected to. Because it's like, a, I did something out of my comfort zone. The yeah. other make-alongs I've done, it's like sweaters or... And you were already going to make them anyway. I was probably going to make them anyway. And I was like, well, I'll just put it in this make-along. But it's like a sweater. You know, I've made a million sweaters. So this one, it, it encouraged me to do something out of my comfort zone. So I'm really enjoying it. Great. And uh, mom's got her... Oh, and I forgot my yarn is Barocco Comfort Sock. And the color is um, Cosmopolitan. And I ordered that um, yarn from Webs, and it looked really bright on the website, but it's more fall color-y, as you can see. But it looked more like candy colors on the website, but it's definitely not. But I don't care. I love it, and it's going to be pe perfect for fall. So, And I, I mean, I thought it looked folly in the in the mm -hmm. picture, but also just, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'll stop talking about that because it's <laughs> irrelevant to the situation. <laughs> Okay, sometimes I just ramble it. on. I get so excited about yarn, I can't help it. Okay, I only okay. have one whip. Okay. And it's the Simple Hug with Cozy Up Knits. And I've wanted oh, to make one so for a while. So this is uh, also Carla's uh, mm -hmm. striped make -along. make along. And I've got it all done except for the band and the, the sleeve band. The two sleeve bands and the neck and the front all goes on. So you got to pick time. up, go back and pick up stitches for those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I got this done in, in between scrapbooking. So I felt like I did pretty good considering I didn't have much time. Hey, when you pick up those stitches, mm -hmm. um, let me help you. Because I learned how to pick up stitches um, a new you way. You pick up three to four, three to every four. Yes, but I just... You learned how to pick them up different? Yeah. You know how yeah. when the pattern says pick up and knit? Do you yeah. actually do that already? I think I do. Because I always picked them all up. No, I picked up and knit. And then knitted a row. Mm -hmm. But I just learned to pick up and knit. I just learned that off of the um, the crazy. So I got my pattern for the sock off the crazy sock ladies video for vanilla socks on DPNs. And she shows you how to pick up. Mm -hmm. And it shows you how to like pick up and knit. Mm. I never knew what that like actually meant. Well, I, I might not be doing it right. So you can show me. Yeah. Well, I'll show you what I'm doing. But I was like, oh, all these years. That's what that means. And it's like so simple. <laughs> and I never knew that. <laughs> well, I, I like the way I striked it. Because yes, I had these, cute. these were scraps. My last blue sweater that um, cabled neck pullover mm -hmm. was this blue. And then I had the gray. Is it the same? Because mm -hmm. I always think it is or is it? It's the, yeah, it is. It's the um, Cloudborn Worsted Twist. Gray twist. Mm -hmm. Superwash. So right I did have to order a gray one. But anyway, so I did a three needle. you didn't have to order a blue one. No, we finally we found, found it. found it behind the couch. It was on a ledge. <laughs> I did a three needle bind off. Only, only you put it on the back. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I did but one. But then it looks like looks, that on the... So in a three needle bind off looks like this on the other side. Well, see, and I planned my stripes. See that? Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. So the, it, it's exactly the stripe Perfect. that goes over the shoulder. Oh, look at you. And this Famous. one this one did really good, but I did make a little bobble on this one. But I'm going to try. I'm not going to show it. Three, Yeah, don't show it. <laughs> three needle bind off is tricky on... A normal size needle, but that was on a what, 11? 11 with smaller weight, yeah. small worsted yarn, and it wanted to, I mean, if I moved, the needle went whoop, and there, you was, had a, there was like five stitches in the air. Was it a plastic needle too, which is real slick? No, I did use a plastic needle on some, but I think this you was... should have had a bamboo needle, that would have been better. But this was either my bamboo needles, or it was the clover, or is that what you mean by That's bamboo? bamboo. It was so either, it's still it was, slick. Even they were all slick because the loops are so big. Mm. Yeah. Now, three needle, anyway. Three needle bind off is can be tricky, man. Seriously, I think that's the only mistake I made. I oh, wish sorry. I had went back and finished it, but I didn't. So. You can. I'd have to rip out all that. Oh, okay. So she that. tried that on for me the other day. Can and, you try it on? Sure. And I think it's going to be so cute for 
like a summer evening sweater. Yeah, it's real lightweight. It just looks very like lakey, like you could wear it on a sailboat. It's, you know what I mean? It just has that like nautical. Oh, it's so. Yeah, it's oh. real soft and it's real airy. And is it that looks, yarn? Still, it looks kind of lacy. Is that yarn still on um, Clarence? It was last I looked. Yeah, you know, there's some, you know a few different colors. I am like really addicted mm -hmm. to buying yarn. It's bad. Mm -hmm. It's a real bad. But I was real proud of my summer. matching leaf. What's stripes. going on here? Oh no, don't tell me I have something. Oh, it's just part of the. It's just a one of those places in the yarn where it like gets fuzzy. It's not. It's not a mistake. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember that place, and I thought, well, how do you do? It's just the yarn. I always cut and tie and start over. I should have, but anyway. <laughs> I hate that when you buy yarn and mm -hmm. you can tell it's been um, magic knotted from the factory. Uh -huh. It's like, I don't want this magic knot in the middle of my, like, it's it fine on like a real fuzzy sweater, but on a, something like that where everything shows. Yeah. You don't want a magic knot showing in the middle. Sometimes I, I go back and I'll put a little piece of yarn in there and try to fix it. Try to fix it. I'll have to fix that uh, top one, but we'll see how it turns out. Well, yeah, whatever. whatever. Who cares if you don't? Whatever. It doesn't matter. It's not I made a little boo-boo on my, that. on my gusset decreases on my sock and mm. I mean, I'm the only one that's going to notice it. Yeah. Like it bugs me, but yeah, that might really bug me. Whatever. But I will see. Yeah, whatever. So, okay. That is our uh, whips besides the one for our cow, which we'll get to in a minute. Right. So now let's talk about acquisitions because we've got so many. So excited. <laughs> I want to go first. Go ahead. Okay. So Carla Nitt's podcast again, she was talking about um, this hand dyer called Lumberjack Yarn um, based out of Michigan. And she had a, a coupon code to use for her viewers and she gave it away on I don't know a couple podcasts to go for her so I was like ooh, coupon code on hand dye yarn I gotta get some so I of course I you know get on Etsy immediately and I um bought some yarn and since now that I'm a sock knitter I got me some sock yarn so here's my sock yarn from Lumberjack Yarns and this is an extra fine merino wool and nylon and oh no I don't have the color name well, okay, I don't have the colorway name, but it is obviously like a bubblegum hot pink, and it's really soft, and it's a lot. This is um, 437 yards in that one skein. I mean, I probably, I could probably get two pairs of socks out of I it. I bet you could. Or at least one long pair and one short pair, like a shorties pair. Make you a pair, make the babies a pair. I could. Yeah, the pink. Anyway, so I was really excited about that, um, and I got to use the coupon code on it. So I will um, put the name of the color in the description, and then okay, I'm gonna save the I'm gonna save my like most excited thing for last. So my uh, one of my other acquisitions is my other um, Swish DK yarn that I'm gonna use for my two babies bean and olive sweaters I'm making this year. Um, I bought green for one, like a lime green, and then this is my other yarn, and it is Did called. You showed the lime green last time. Yeah, this is called Wonderland Heather, which is perfect. Because Alice in Wonderland. Oh. <laughs> okay. I didn't even think about that. We're seeing that a lot. Until later, after oh, I bought it. Yes. Yeah. So I, my, <laughs> one of my babies is named Alice. So this will be for her. Because it's the Alice in Wonderland color. There you go. And then um, I got a free gift for my birthday from Knit Fit, Knit Picks. And it fin I mean, my birthday was like, at least, it was over a month ago. But I finally got it. And it was just a cute little unicorn with a knitting pin and okay. I don't know what I'm gonna stick it on but it's just adorable it was free gift so I got that and then okay so uh, last week no two weekends ago no last weekend I don't know it doesn't matter was the Hoosier Hills Fiber Fest in Franklin Indiana well neither of us could go to it and I'm super bummed because this was the first year I even knew it existed because mom and I are even though we've knitted for years we're kind of I kind of knew it all this hand dyed business. And just knew it like the community. Like yeah. I didn't know there was this huge community of like people no. that were just obsessed with yarn and stuff that we are. Mm -hmm. So I was so excited about it. Well then we couldn't go. Didn't work out. Didn't work and out. I tried to get mom to go, but she couldn't go. So she you ended up taking a day trip to Little Nashville. Yeah. Went to the yarn shop there. She goes, Well, we can't go to the Hoosier thing because it's too far, blah blah blah. So she ended up going to Little Nashville and they have a yarn store called the Clay Pearl. Mm hmm and I was like, oh my gosh, you're going to the clay pearl. You got to buy me something. Buy me some yarn. I don't care what it is. Just buy me something. And she's like, well, what kind of yarn? I was like, sock yarn. Buy me some sock yarn. I'm like trying to build up my <laughs> sock yarn collection. So she got me this. And it is from Baugh 
yarns, which is funny because it's ba, like a sheep. And then the names of the two women that run it are Brenda and Heather. So it's Brenda and Heather Yarns. And let's see here. They're based out of Seymour, Indiana. And this is called Slice of Summer Remix. It's um, a wool and nylon mix, fingering weight. And then this is how it knits up. Whoops, I keep going to the other side. Can you see that? It's not really focusing. Oh, it, anyway, it's watermelon. Okay, well, I I've tried long enough to get that to focus. And it's gonna happen. I just wanted to get something local. I thought that would be cool. Yeah, but I mean, local. how cool is that? I know. It looks like watermelon. I so I cannot wait to, to knit this. I don't know what I'm going to knit first. But these don't, unfortunately, don't. They don't really match, do they? No, they're different colors of pink. So no. I can't use this. I can't use that for my heel. It won't match. Oh, no. So no. I might do, I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, I think I might, I, I think this is going to be my next sock. And Lumberjack yarn will be my third sock because <laughs> I, I got to do the watermelon. Well, it's summertime. To, yeah, you need to get this done before yeah. summer, seeing at least where. So this is, is, how many yards? 380. So I could even do a pair of shorties for me and a pair of shorties for you, maybe. Oh, might have enough yarn to do that. So, I was just going to say, we'll a, a shorties would be say. better. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> because, um, you know, summer. Yeah. So I might do that. And plus that, I can knit a shorty sock in a couple days. Yeah. So yeah, anyway, I'm really excited about this. I thought you knit me a pair. Yeah. And did you even notice it came with a cute little... Yeah. So it came with a um, little uh, progress keeper stitch marker thing. And it's just a cute little guy. And I am super excited about that. And then, okay. Me? Well, okay, never mind. I have these to show. Okay. Right. So a couple other little acquisitions, just Amazon orders. Um, I did not have a scale. Um, my husband had a scale and I would use his sometimes, but he keeps it out in the garage and it was annoying. So I got me a scale, just ordered it on Amazon, like less than $15 to weigh yarn and to see how much you've used out of a skein. Because everybody always says, oh, it was like, I used 17 grams and I'm like, how many yards? I need to know yards. I don't have... I see. You know, I really never thought about Yeah. That. Like sometimes patterns that. will tell you how many grams you need and I'm like, I need to know yardage. I don't yes, have a... So you can because you just divide yeah. it. Yeah, so now I've got me a scale. And so then I, I also know. ordered, I know this is simple and everybody probably has these, but I never had any. I don't have any. So these are those little white bulb uh, safety pins. Ordered these on Amazon too, that's in all so different cool. colors. Yeah, I, didn't, I had not seen You any. can have some. I bought them for us to share. Because, yeah. I mean, that's a bazillion. I don't cool beans. Yeah. So that's just nice. Like when you're knitting socks and stuff, you, you need to count your rows and all yeah. that. And it's just nice to have. It's those nice big plastic ones yarn. for the sock yarn. They pull down. And the ones that, like, you know the ones that come with the Knitter's Pride needles? Mm. They're too big to put through them. Mm. So it's nice to have those little skinny ones. Well, in some sweaters, like if I would put a stitch, one of those plastic stitch on, mm -hmm. it, it actually pulls the yarn Stretches the yarn. The yarm. Yeah. Then you have to, you know, work mm. it back. <laughs> okay. So my most exciting acquisition. I'm wearing it. So the Cozy Up podcast had a shawl auction on shawls that they knitted. Mm-hmm. And so I bid on this one and won. So we talked about it a little last time, but I didn't, I didn't want to show it because I didn't have it yet. So this is the Katie shawl and I believe it was knit by Jamie. I'm not hundred percent sure. I think so. That's what I thought. I yeah, I think it, I think it was. So, oh, it's beautiful. And I don't remember what yarn that she said it was made out of, but it is so lightweight and so airy. Yeah. I mean, it's summer right now and it's not cold in here. And I'm not hot. Yeah. I mean. It's just really pretty. And I don't normally like, like, stuff around but my neck. But it would really be nice not bothering in the all. fall when it does start. It's not cold, but mm -hmm. you, you'll want to start wearing these collars mm -hmm. you know, and stuff. And really I love pretty. the way, it, like, to wear it this way. I love the way that it, like, comes down. And I don't know. I'm just kind of starting to get into the shawls. It was never really my thing. But <laughs> just, I'm never going to. I'm, I'm not going to make socks. And not into shawls. <laughs> Well, because I just don't like to have stuff around my neck. Yeah. So I never wanted to knit a shawl because I'm like, well, I won't wear it. Yeah. I mean, they're, I think they're pretty mm -hmm. when I see them, but. And I actually do. I think I will wear it. Now. I've heard other people say that too. They've got all these shawls and they, <laughs> they don't, don't wear, wear them. It's a thing, I yeah, guess. But I guess it's fun to make. I guess if you make it with the right yarn. Yeah. Then you'd wear it. But I love the shawl and I will wear this because it's gorgeous. And it was made by Jamie from yeah, Cozy Up Knits. So cool. It's so cool. And I like own this and I have it. So, so <laughs> the next week, or it was two weeks, couple weeks that, later, a couple yeah. weeks later, they had, they kept every week they'd have an auction on what, four or five mm -hmm, or something. Like eight. Something so like that. I told Mallory, I said, get this one. 
See if you can auction that one, you know, put bids in on that one. So, yeah. So, I did. And I we won that one, too. Yeah. And it's a... It's a Katie shawl. But we, we feel, and I'm pretty sure that the mother made it, JoJo made it. Yeah. So, I thought that was appropriate. That's the one I wanted her to bid on because, mm -hmm. you know, I'm the mother and she's the mother. So, I thought yeah. that was pretty cool. Yeah, so we haven't got have it. it yet. Yeah, we'll show it next time. I'm sure it'll be here by next time. Yeah, it'll be fun. So we'll both have a Katie shawl mm -hmm. from Canada, knit by yeah. the Cosyette Knits Girls. Yeah. Mom and daughter. So cool. Yeah, mom and daughter. Oh, <laughs> love it. I'm so excited about it. So anyway, they were so cool. They sent um, they sent me this because this is what I, I won an auction, but they sent me extra stuff. So they sent me some sock yarn from Sassy Strings, which is awesome because I just started knitting socks. And this is Drops of Jupiter, and it's just on the basic sock base. And yeah, look how pretty. And I think it's going to be a self-striping looking. Don't you think it looks like it's going to self-stripe? It looks like it will be. Oh, it's so pretty. It reminds me of like ice cream or something. Not the blue, but the other colors. Pretty. Mm -hmm. Or like maybe like birthday cake. Maybe. Or something. I don't know. It's really soft, and I cannot yeah, wait. It's real pretty. So, oh, man. I can't wait to knit all these socks. I'm so excited. And then I wanted to show this cute little... So, um, they sent me a little card, it came with it, and um, they all signed it with their colors, because they all have a color, and I just, I feel like I have their autographs now. Yeah, you have their autographs. So cool. So, you can keep that in yeah. your knitting bag. Yep, and they sent me a little bag of tea, too. Just a cute little, they just made it into, like, a gift. Yeah. It was, it was just so exciting to open. I was thrilled. Yeah. I posted a picture of it on the, on our Instagram page, too. Yeah. But, anyway. I'll be excited to get mine. That's all my acquisitions, and they're super exciting. So, what do you got? Okay, well, when we went to Little Nashville, my husband and I, and the um, clay pearl, I don't know what you call mm -hmm. it. Okay, I had to buy yarn, so I have to buy something. <laughs> so, I have I have a problem with seeing green and blue, and I thought this was that kind is of a hard one, man. I thought it was like kind of a greeny green, but when I got it in the the mirror, the window, it's blue, but it's it tinges. It's kind of like a light, like a sky blue almost. Kind of a sky blue. Like a gray sky yeah. blue. But it's it's really tweed. pretty. It's Deluxe Worsted Tweed mm -hmm. by Universal Yarn. Don't know anything about it. But anyway, I like it. But I only got four, so I'll have to figure out something to make. 218 <laughs> yards in each one. So I'll, wow. I'll find something to make with it. Oh, yeah. That'd make a really pretty Felix cardigan. Oh, and I've been wanting to make one of mm -hmm. those. It'd be really pretty. I have to make it short, though. Shorter. I don't know. I don't know if you would. Hmm. I don't yeah. know if you would. That's a good idea. And I think last time I mentioned I had something in the mail. And um, one other time I mentioned um, a future knit that I wanted to do was this little sweater for the girls for Christmas. Open that up, yeah. Oh. And make uh, one in red and one in green. Mm -hmm. So I got my yarn. It's 220 Superwash Cascade yarn. That's what the book calls for. It's it's the whole book is this yarn. Mm -hmm. And so there's the the red is called I think Christmas red or something. Oh, it's not gonna say Cascade never does that. I think it was Christmas red. Oh eight oh nine. And this was natural. I remember that. Mm -hmm. And then this was a heather heather something heather green. <laughs> so that'll be the the green one. And we've got enough yarn to make both of those sweaters. So. Cool. That was That's my exciting. two yarn purchases. All right. Do you no. have any other acquisitions? Mm -mm. No material or anything? Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, where my show notes go? Did I lose them? I don't know. Hmm. That's a, That's a major problem. question. Here they are. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Because I don't know what was on them. Okay. We covered everything. <laughs> yes. We are ready to talk about our cow. Yay. So... Um, our cow is the, um, Autumn Leak Pullover, and we, um, have talked about it a lot of times, so here's the Autumn Leak Pullover by Two of Wands, and Mom and I are using, I think a lot of people that are doing it with us are using the suggested yarn. It's good. Which, do you have a ball of it up here? Because I do not. It is yes. Lion Brands Cotton Jeans, um, and they have, it's all, like, jean colors, and it's a heathery, uh, color, so, or heathery blend yarn. Oh. Okay, so here's mine. So I'm using the gray, and oh, please do not come off my needles. Okay, I am. I stopped working on this to get my sock done for Carla's um, make along. So but I'm gonna get back on it this week. Where's the front? Okay, so I've got the X done. It has a little X in the front, and I've got that far. 
So there is my little X. So that's the front neck, like right here. And yeah, there's the, how's the yarn, how the yarn works up. So I'm using the gray and oh my gosh, this yarn is awesome. It is. It's nice to work with. It's so soft to work with. I am loving it. I thought it would be thin, you know me and thin, but it, it works up really no. well. No, and the, the needles are what, seven? So it, mm -hmm. it the yarn is a little bit, it's DK, but it is a little bit thin because it doesn't have any fuzz to it. I think I'm just about the same. Place. Yeah, we both kind of, I think we both kind of got to that we, same point. And we then, both have the, the little X. Can't see yours on there, but it's done. Yeah. It's on there. It's on there. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, yeah. That much in the back. It's a very like, um, the gauge is very loose. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a very nice, mm -hmm cool sweater to wear. I kind of had to put mine down too because I wanted to finish the scrapbook mm -hmm. and I'm going to work on Macy's quilt and I'm also going to work on um, the, the Afghan. The Afghan and you're working on your striped stripe. sweater. So I'll probably not work on this for another weeks. Week. Yeah. But we'll get it. I mean, our mm -hmm. towel's running. It started June 1st. It's running until August 30th. I am kind of starting to actually. This is starting to make me. The back of my neck's a little sweaty. But it's not hot. I'm just I turned the air doing stuff down so. too, so it'd be cold up here. <laughs> anyway, so it runs until August 31st, mm -hmm. and so you've you know if you're starting, you've, you even if you're just now starting, I feel like you've got plenty of time because yeah, that so. that went fast. It did. I, we did that in no time. Yeah, that went really fast. So I don't think it's going to take forever. I hated to put it down. I know me too, but I, I had to. But then I got I worked up on my sock too, and I was excited. But yeah. so um, uh, I lost it. The cow. Yes. Subscribers. Yeah, I'll talk about that. Talk about the sweater. Oh, so it's, um, you knit from the top down until you get like under the arms and then you're supposed to split oh, yeah. and knit the front as a flap, the back as a flap, and then you join them together with a seam. Same with the sleeves. You're supposed to like join this, join them together. Well, that's fine for some people, but I do not want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to purl. I haven't decided. Yeah. And I know it's for structure and that it does, it's very floppy and loose. So mm -hmm. I understand that you might want some structure. I don't think I care about that. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do, and I wanted to um, give a thank you to uh, Kate from the Knitting Posse podcast. I reached out to her on Instagram because she made the sweater. It's how I got the idea to make it anyway. And she told me that she used a faux seam down the side so that she could knit it in the round, but it's like a, it makes it look like you have a seam. And it adds a little bit of structure. Mm. Or you do like pearl. I don't know. You got a hair in your eyes there. But um, anyway, she gave me a link to her Ravelry page that she made about that sweater. So when I get to that point, I'm going to read what she did. I think I'm going to do it the way she did it. Is that kind of what I did on the weekender to make it look like a seam in front? Probably. Something like that? Yes. Yeah, I don't know. She just said she used a faux seam and she really enjoyed it. It was like a technique that she had learned to do that. Oh, okay. And she gave me a different. link to her Ravelry page about the sweater. And then she said on that Ravelry page is a link to the video that she used to make the faux scene. Great. So when I get to that point, I'm going to read up and research and, and do what she did. Because I don't want to knit it in pieces. I'm going to use mm -hmm. that. So I will, um, I don't know how to put a link. Do you, can, I don't know. If anybody knows how to put a link in the description on YouTube, please tell me. Because I don't know how to do it. You just type it out and then it makes it into a link. Or do you have to like. I don't know how to do it. So anyway. It might just make it into a link. I don't think it does because I think I've tried to do it before and it doesn't. So oh, I need help with that. So I'll try to figure out how to do it. But I will definitely at least write the, the website out so that you can copy and paste it into your search yeah. engine and, and bring it up. So if you do not want to knit this in pieces, let's do it this way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because Kate's from the Knitting Posse has looked really good. And she said she really enjoyed And yeah. she said it did add structure. So mm -hmm. it, it, it worked. So there's something other than just like the weekend. Oh, I don't know. I might be like, I don't know. I don't know that. Mm -hmm. I just know she did a faux seam. I didn't look up what it looks like or anything yet. I haven't gotten that far with it. But I'll put, I'll at least put that down there as mm -hmm. a copy and paste situation. If I can't figure out mm -hmm. how to do an actual link. Yeah. So anyway, I wanted to thank her for responding to me on Instagram and like just doing everything. She, I just, just so think she was so uh, helpful and I'm just very thankful for her. Just having a community of people that you can reach out to, even if they're states away from you and you've never met them. We need all the help we can get. <laughs> Sometimes. So, I do. <laughs> this is cool. Yeah. But, um, and then, um, mm -hmm. so when you are making your sweater, you can post pictures of your progress on Instagram because we're running the whole thing through Instagram and use the hashtag 
strings attached 2021 KAL for your like in progress pictures. When you get your sweater done to enter for the prize, do the same hashtag only add FO at the end. All lowercase. I don't think it matters for hashtag. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So only put an FO picture on the FO thread because that's how I'm going to select the, the winner. Yeah. And then, so we've got a couple prizes that we're like working up. I, I definitely have all the yarn I've talked about. It's like seven skeins of yarn. And it's from that same company, Universal Yarns. Yeah. I actually bought it in Nashville. Mm -hmm. But um, I have that and then I'm going to do a tote bag with our logo on it that I'm going to cricket on there. And then mom bought some cute little uh, stitch markers and stuff that we're going to... So, I'm thinking about doing... They're local, too. They're made in Indy. Okay. So, I'm thinking mm -hmm. about doing, like, a prize for someone who completed the sweater. And then, like, a smaller prize, another, like, prize of a smaller nature mm -hmm. for someone who got everything but the sleeves done, say. Almost done. Yeah, like you got your whole body done, but you didn't get the sleeves all done. So you'll get a prize for getting that far if you, you know, if you're selected. And then E for effort. <laughs> and then <laughs> the third is. final prize, which will be something little, but still, it'll be a little, a little prize. Um, maybe just for doing it in the first place, doing it at all. Just starting. Because this is our first cow, and we're just appreciative of everybody that's like gonna join with us. It's just neat. So I didn't. I thought we'd get like five people. How many? Do you know? I don't know how many, but it's more than five. <laughs> and there's quite a few, and it's exciting, and people are excited about it, yeah. and it's just neat, you know? Yeah. People that we've never met are knitting along with us, and we're talking about it online, and it's just cool. So I want to include as many people in the, like, reward as I can. Sure. You know? That's great. So, okay. Now, I want to give an extra special thank you to Cozy Up Knits, because Jamie watched our last, our couple podcasts ago, I don't know. Maybe it was the last one. I don't know. And saw our Autumn League pullover cowl and everything. And then she saw the yarn. And she said she saw that yarn and, like, she had to make that sweater. <laughs> so she is doing this. Jamie from Cozy Up Knits. And I think, hopefully, um, Katie and Sarah, Sarah may. I don't know. May even do it. I don't know if they're all going to do it, like, as our cow, But they're talking about making that sweater. Sure. And they wanted to order that same yarn. Mm -hmm. So they... um are like uh, going to do it with us or whatever. And then they like shouted us out on their podcast mm -hmm. and like Jamie held up her phone and showed our Instagram page on mm -hmm. their podcast. And like, I went to bed that night and we had like 370 subscribers and by 24 hours, by the time I went to bed the next day, we had like 470 and now we have 564 or something like that. Even I keep getting notifications. You have a new subscriber. Do you? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So how are you getting those? Are you like I just tagged on? Up. I no oh, okay. I guess I'm I must tagged. have tagged you or something. Yeah, you've tagged me or something. And but I mean, later. amazing. Like we've gained almost 200 subscribers in the last couple of weeks. And mm -hmm. it's because Cozy mainly up. of that shout out on Cozy Up Knits podcast. So thank you so much. That and was Carla's so cool. And Carla's mentioned us too. Oh, and Carla. Yeah, Carla's mentioned us. And that's awesome. And there's another one that. The community is just so cool yeah. to have. Another mother and daughter has mentioned this. Oh, yeah. Um, Sweet Pea Chickadee is another yeah. adorable mother-daughter yeah. podcast that mm -hmm. Mom and I have been catching up on. Because yeah. they, they shouted us out. And then I forget how I... I don't know if she messaged me on Instagram or something. And so we watched their podcast. Or maybe I just saw it one day. I was watching it. And then heard I heard her say, Mallory and Frida and the strings <laughs> attached. And I don't remember how that happened. Yeah, so... Mm -hmm. Anyway, Sweet Pea and Chickadee is another mother-daughter podcast. Mm -hmm. The daughter doesn't knit. She doesn't knit. I think her name's, uh, I think it's Brooke and Kim. I think. <laughs> Sorry. The names. But anyway, mm -hmm. she doesn't knit, but she, she holds things up and this yeah. has discussions and stuff. So mm -hmm. anyway, that's a, that's a cool podcast to go check out. But yeah, thank you for everybody that like called us out and shouted us out. And yeah, especially um, to Cozy Up Knits because that, that was cool. Yeah. Because they're like. In my in the knitting world, they're like famous. So that was really, I was so <laughs> excited about that. But um, yes, that's, uh, I think that's it for us today. And we're just excited and happy and welcome all to our new subscribers. And yeah, thankful we to have us here. in the background. Oh, this is an old FO. old FO. We just, we just put it on Sue's. <laughs> I thought she needed something. Yeah. 
And it's a cute little summer top. Seven. Sisters. Seven sisters top. Yeah. Don't remember what the, who wrote the pattern, but I will no, put it. No, and the yarn was an old stash yarn I had. Old yarn. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, just in the background. So, okay. That's it today. Done. And uh, see you in a couple weeks. Yeah, hope so. And hopefully we have some um, cow updates and mm -hmm. like pictures people post on Instagram and, you know, discussions yeah. about it and stuff. And yeah, check out um, Kate's how to knit the, the mm -hmm. sweater in the Yeah, round. I want to watch that too to see if yeah. I want to do that or not. So, okay. Yeah. Well, have a good couple weeks and we'll see you next time. Happy knitting. Happy knitting. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.